guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am reviewing the Sugar Drop the Base Serum Foundation. This is most requested on my Nykaa haul. Everyone was like, please review the Sugar Foundation. And I actually was going to wait another whole month to do it so that I can test it out in the heat of the sun and go out and do a wet test but I genuinely feel like this quarantine might be extended because the situation doesn't seem to be coming in control and uh, so I decided I would do it anyway because you know what I'm sitting at home and I have nothing else to do and you have nothing else to do so hopefully you're staying positive in this quarantine season staying at home staying safe please do that it's the need of the hour and you don't have to be super productive at home don't try to achieve major goals just do one thing at a time do what you want to do not because you have to do it just do whatever you want this is the time to do whatever you want and since you're here right now if you want you can go down and subscribe to my channel uh, click on that big red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it if you're watching my video for the first time or you're always watching and you've not subscribed and joined the family then please make sure that you do all right so today we are testing out the new sugar drop the base serum foundation or uh, this particular foundation retails for $8.99 and I just checked and it's only available on the sugar website it's not available on nika.com I don't know which other websites it's available on but I will leave the link to the sugar website down below I highly do not recommend you all buying any of the makeup or anything online right now in the lockdown period or for as long as the infection is contained so this foundation does have a lot of claims that have uh, chopped up on the website sugar is a cruelty free company this foundation is formulated in Italy and it contains an ultra thin skin perfecting formula that provides seamless adjustable coverage and a natural finish a, pow a powerful marine based algae extract helps reactivate the metabolism of aging cells and gives you a youthful appearance so it has a lot of claims it has around 10 shades this foundation has only 10 shades which I'm a little iffy about because the other stick foundation comes in a lot of shades so I think they should expand the shade range on this as well I got the shade 52 Corretto I really like the packaging on the sugar unicart and it has a lovely girl made on it and it says the name right here the number right here it's a very self-sufficient unicarton in itself and the foundation inside is this teeny tiny frosted glass bottle it is a very very small bottle it is around 20 ml of product for 900 bucks so that is very steep on the price range but if the formula performs then I think it would be worth the money because you get a lot of discount on this foundation uh, it has a frosted glass finish which I absolutely love a drop shaped applicator which works very well there is no problem with the packaging I really like it uh, ahead in the video I have tested this foundation out and you can see it live in action so if you want to do that then please keep on watching alright you guys so let's get started I've put a very heavy base moisturizer because my face was feeling very dry I'm gonna start with my primer for primer today I'm using a Chambord anti shine primer so this is my most favorite primer at the moment it keeps the oils at bay and also minimizes the appearance of my pores so I really do like it so after the primer has set in, I'm diving straight into the foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. It's super cute. And the instructions behind say shake well before use. Spend small amount under the back of your hand. Dot and blend ideally outward from the midpoint of the face. It's a cruelty free product. And it's also powder free and water free. Alright, good stuff. It has a lot of nice claims. I don't like to drop foundation on the back of my hand so I'm going to drop it straight on my face and let's see okay just uh, before this I'm going to do this half of my face with a brush and this half with a sponge as always in my foundation reviews if this is the first one you are seeing then I just wanted to let you know that I do that okay I'm going to take two drops I don't know how well this shade is going to match me I matched it online Oh, I love the consistency of this foundation. It has a very decent coverage. I thought it would be very light coverage. Oh my god, it smells so good. What does it smell like? It smells really good. Like the calming good, not the in your face fragrance. Ah, it's a very calming scent. Oh, I love the coverage. Oh my god. I thought this would be like light to medium. I put two drops granted and that could provide a lot of pigmentation but 
like it's so lightweight i don't feel like it's covered anything but the pigmentation on the foundation is really good instantly as i see it it's sinking into my creases a lot it's emphasizing my creases quite a lot but at the same time the upper other part of my skin looks flawless and i really like the shade okay so far so good if you can see it has a beautiful glow a beautiful finish as compared to this side it's covered a lot of my acne scarring and hyperpigmentation it's even out my skin but it is sinking into my fine lines near my eyes and near my mouth so the whole anti aging purpose i don't understand but it's too soon to judge we'll have to see that throughout the day how it bears in my fine lines uh it's a very lightweight finish and i really like the blend with the brush so fast i could just like swoop 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 and it blended really well and there are no brush strokes or anything and it smells super great so let's go on the other side and see how it performs with the sponge i'm going to do the exact same thing and take two drops i'm taking the plum and co new swirl uh stuff beauty blender i usually don't like perfume like scents in my makeup i don't prefer it especially my skin uh products like my foundations and primers because they are have very sensitive skin and i can break out so let's keep that in mind the huda fragrance really irritates my skin or uh, this has a more earthy tone like an earthy fragrance so i'm guessing it's more natural than it is artificial so hopefully it doesn't react with my skin i do already have one breakout right over here you guys i love the color this this shade match i have never had a foundation match me so perfectly and the fact that it's so lightweight it feels like i've applied nothing it's like just sunk into my skin it's exactly what the name says actually a drop based serum foundation it it feels like i've applied a serum a very enriching serum and It has a color to it which has like evened out my skin tone given a lot of life to my skin and yeah it's beautiful I love the finish of this foundation I'm not joking I love how it's looking right now and uh this also does not transfer okay transfers a little bit it does transfer a little bit the rimmel foundation which I last tested did not even transfer this much so you the, you might need to set this otherwise it will transfer all over your clothes or sheets or whatever like your partner if you're hugging them okay so this is what it looks like beautiful finish very skin like i love the finish of this foundation super super skin like super natural and very glowy okay comment below and let me know what you guys think about this foundation what do you think about the shade match the shade match is right right like am i like am i hallucinating or did i just find the perfect shade match for myself i'm going to do the rest of my makeup real soon i'm going to keep it very natural because of course we are in quarantine i'm sitting at home i don't have to go anywhere so i'll do a very light base makeup and be right back okay you guys i'm back i did a very simple glam my lipstick is still left i just applied like very basic makeup and for lipstick i want to do it with you all because i know okay lipstick is you people's favorite part no matter what you all will ask me the lipstick in the comments and i want to use the new sugar or uh, lip liner that i got uh, along with the foundation from their website so this is the sugar lipping on edge lip liner in the shade uh, wooded by nude and Okay so this is what the color looks like it's very peachy and a uh, nude it's a peachy nude color I love the formula on this it glides on super smooth it's very comfortable and very highly pigmented so i really like it i don't know how long wearing it is so today with the foundation we know how long the lip liner wears as well so i'm going to top this lip liner off with the nika uh, matte delicious lip crayon in the shade real deal Okay so this is my lipstick all complete and now let's talk about the foundation while blending all of my bronzer blush highlight everything blended seamlessly i had no problem whatsoever uh, the concealer also blended very beautifully the only thing is it does crease it is creasing a little bit under the eyes and around my mouth it's not that bad yet and with powder a lot of it settled down the creasing was in control but i feel like as the day goes on it's going to crease a little more and these are my problem areas but it's just that the whole anti aging factor of the foundation i don't get because it is sinking into my fine line apart from that the finish of the foundation is beautiful it still is giving that 
beautiful glow and uh, of course my highlighter is also there uh, but apart from that also the foundation has a very beautiful skin like finish it is not feeling heavy cakey at all it's a great everyday foundation or even for that matter since it's medium coverage it's not very light coverage like a bb cream so you don't you cannot not wear it to amazing occasions like a wedding or an event and it's not very high coverage that you you know you cannot wear it on a daily basis so it's somewhere in between it's a medium coverage i will give you an up close so you all can judge for yourself okay so since it's like 2:40 pm i think i will see you guys at around 5:30 and let's see how the foundation wears off for another 2 to 1/2 hours okay so i just came back from fajr's walk to thoda to pasina aaya hi hai uh like for the rest of my face now it's there it's not gone away and everything is still there because of course i am uh, at home but like in this area if you can see wait let it focus hmm in this region it has come off it's not the most long wearing foundation i have or uh, i was thinking i'll work out like i was thinking i'll do like a proper zumba session and uh, let the foundation test out the whole sweat scenario uh, because apart from that i really don't have anything to do so let's dance in full face makeup and yeah i will check in with you all after that bye okay guys so i just finished working out i did like a intense session of zumba uh following youtube videos so i worked up a real sweat and the foundation is still holding strong so kudos to the foundation matlab itna pasina aa raha hai but foundation har jagah se slip and slide nahi hua hai har jagah se hai abhi bhi aur pasina puch raha hai but foundation is like not getting wiped off so big a plus for that i'm going to sign out now go have a nice hot water shower and i really like this foundation the entire experience was so nice like pura din rakha it's almost 9 o'clock and i didn't feel even once ki you know foundation just लग रहा है मेकअप लग रहा है निकाल देती हूँ क्योंकि घर में ही बैठी हूँ आई डेंट फील लाइक दैट एट ऑल इट वॉज नॉट अ वेरी हैवी वेट फाउंडेशन एट ऑल इट्स सुपर लाइट वेट इट द कवरेज डज डल डाउन थ्रू आउट द डे सो मीडियम कवरेज से थोड़ा लाइट कवरेज हो जाता है बट इट इज स्टिल देयर लाइक ऐसा लग नहीं रहा है कि एनी थिंग इज गॉन माई हाई लाइट माई ब्लश इज तो इंटेंसिफाइड आफ्टर वर्कआउट बट या एंड ओवरऑल आई अभी वर्कआउट भी कर लिया वेट इज द फाउंडेशन बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इट अ फेस शॉर्ट सो दैट वी हैव एन आइडिया कि मुंबई के पसीने वाली गर्मी में हाउ डू यू फील आई Really like it. I highly recommend the foundation. My first impressions was really, really good. They definitely have to expand the shade range. So yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think? I'm gonna go now and take a shower. If you like the video, then please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you all.